This video is going to show you how to draw in one and two point perspective for different letter shapes. So to start off with, I'm going to show you the one point perspective with the H. With the H, you've already got the guidelines inside the box for you to start your uh, the H drawing. We need to have these slightly longer. So using your set square, match it up with the left hand edge of the box so you've got it nice and vertical and continue guideline going across. We're then going to do the same. So I'm going to use the line underneath the title for this. So I'll just show you. I'm going to use the line underneath the title, place my pencil on my point and again draw a guideline going down. So I've got a nice accurate guideline. The shape for the H, as you see, the H is obviously shorter in width than it is in length, in height. So we're going to make this rectangle five and a half centimetres in width. And in total, it's going to be six centimetres in height. Okay, and that's given us our rectangle to draw our H in. These two verticals that are coming down are going to be one and a half centimetres in width. So to do that, I'm going to measure in from both sides, one and a half centimetres. Do that at the top and at the bottom. And then I'm going to match these up and draw a very faint guideline going straight down. And you will see automatically the two verticals of the H are created. The bar that's going across is in the middle of the H. So this means that these two parts above and below are two and a half, which makes this one centimetre. So we're now going to do two and a half coming down from the top, two and a half coming up from the bottom, and that should create our one in the middle. So two and a half, two and a half, and then we can match these up and draw a faint guideline going across, and that automatically creates the shape of your H. Using your pencil and your ruler, very carefully draw these lines in, pressing much harder with your pencil. Take your time and your care to make sure your lines are nice and neat and they match up perfectly in corners. We don't want them to have gaps or to go past each other. They should match up nice and accurately. And that's the front view of the H done. You'll notice the vanishing point is now actually below the shape. Before when you've done these, it's been above. So it's just changing the perspective of the one point. So we can start drawing in our very faint guidelines to our vanishing point. There's a couple of vanishing points that obviously We need to make sure we add all of them in total. You will find in total that there are seven guidelines. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you haven't got seven, it means you are missing one somewhere and you need to have a double check. We're going to take the middle guideline, so that's this one from the bottom right hand corner, the H, and we're going to add the length, which is three and a half centimetres. Now this obviously needs turning vertical going up. To make it nice and accurate, we're gonna use the set square. So I'm gonna match my set square up with the bottom of the box, place my pencil on my line, and then draw a faint guideline going up. And where it crosses the vanishing point, that becomes the side of the H. So I can now draw that in, and that's the side of the H. This now needs to come across horizontal. So I can do the same thing, I can Put my pencil on the line. I can match my set square with one of the boxes and draw a faint line going across. And this then creates the underneath side of both vertical parts of the H. So we've got this one here and we've then got this one here. Make sure you pay attention to the guidelines because they give you the perspective of the H. We can see this part of the H is just slightly in from this vertical line. So we're going to again take our set square, put our pencil on our set square, level it off at the bottom, and this just needs a slight line going up to the second vertical, which means we can draw in 
this line here. Now obviously we've got the bar which we've got the line to go to so we need to draw that in as well and that then creates your one point perspective of the H. The one point perspective of the F is the exact same process so we're going to create our box first so we're going to use our set square and we're going to line it up with the edge of the box to get it nice and level. Draw our guideline going across. Same with our vertical. Now at this point I haven't got anything too easy to go so I'm going to go with the bottom of the H to line up my set square and then draw my faint guideline going down. Now this is using the same sizes so it's five and a half across. And then it's six in height. So I can mark that on. Okay, and I've got my box. Now the width of the main part of the F, so this bit here and this bit here, are one and a half centimetres. So this bit here is actually, it's going to be different. So this is going to be one and a half. This is going to be two and this is going to be one. So I'm going to draw the top part first. So I'm going to come down measuring one and a half centimetres, which is obviously 15 millimetres, and draw a faint guideline going across. Then I'm going to come in from the left two centimetres and draw my faint guideline. You can see that's created the horizontal and the vertical of the F. The bar of the F, the gap between the top and this bar, this bit here is going to be one and a half centimetres, which will leave this as being two because we've got the one centimetre for this part. So I'm going to come down one and a half from this line. Draw a faint guideline going across. This is then obviously one centimetre. And you can see this bar is slightly shorter than the top one. So in total, the length of this is going to be three centimetres to bring it in ever so slightly shorter than what we've got above. So I'm going to measure three centimetres Match those up and draw that in and you can see it's then created the bar across from the H that is slightly inside what it needs to be. So we can then draw these in, pressing nice and hard with our pencil. Again, taking your time to make sure your corners match up perfectly. And then again, we can now add in the lines to the vanishing point. So we need to add in our vanishing point. So that's the first, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight. Now you'll probably find the guideline that goes across here pretty much go across that point in the middle. So we can probably use that one for both of those points. So in total that gives us seven vanishing points like the H. So we're going to start in the middle one, which is going to be the bottom right hand corner of this bar going across. And we're going to make that one and a half centimetres. Then like we did before, we're going to take our set square and we're going to make this a nice vertical going up. And you can see it's already created those sections for you. So I can now draw these in. So I've got the section there and the section here. This obviously needs to come across horizontally. So I'm going to match my set square with the edge of the box. Draw that until it meets this vanishing point. Draw this in and then this needs to come down nice and vertically. So from the where these two points meet, 
I'm going to draw a nice vertical coming down. And you'll see that will create the line for you. We want to again go horizontally across from this point here. So match our set square with the edge of the box. Draw a guideline going and we can see where these now cross. then go across horizontally again match your set square up nicely you'll find the bit at the bottom is a lot thinner and more sort of squished than the others because of the way that the perspective works and then that has created the one point perspective of the F and that's how you do the one point perspective of those two letters